Everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. Got a little uh, demolition work here to do. Uh, so let me back up a little farther here so I can get a good picture of what I'm going to show in here. So this uh, cement pad here, going down there, that's got to come out because there's some problems with it. We got some uh, cracks going through and it's breaking up there cracks there but that's not the bad part down here got a big old crack coming across here crack in here major crack over here where this entire area out here has uh, fallen off basically when uh, he didn't compact this area here before he uh, poured the concrete so the guy that I bought the house from so yeah anyways I'm have a, gonna have a crew come in this summer to uh, pour it they're actually going to go out another couple feet out here far farther on it and actually going to um, bring in rock and everything but they're going to pour it so that the level is at the at that bottom step there so there's only one step up so and not so much of a not so much of a slope right here because here you can see it is a, it is a slope so they're going to raise it up so it's not quite so much of a slope so let's head over to the truck here I want to show you what I'm going to be using here I haven't even disconnected it yet from when I hauled it in here, so. So, rented this at Home Depot. This is the second time I used it. That's a nice breaker. And so it's got a couple points in here with it. So this is what I'm going to be using over there. And now uh, let's, uh, let's get set up and uh, we'll do it. Okay, so the main thing I'm going to be doing is just breaking out this one top piece here and around the corner of the house here and along the edge of the shop here because the way he poured the concrete. I have an excavator coming in tomorrow and I'll just be able to grab it and yank the pieces out, the rest of it. But I need to get this broken away so I don't damage the, either the corner of the house or the shop. So that's what I'm working on right here. I got my plug right here, so I'm close to using it here, so we're going to see how well we go here. Alright, as you can see, it's breaking up fairly quick there. This is not four inches thick. Maybe three inches. I got a tape measure to find out. But uh, I'm going to bring the tractor around over here so I can just start throwing the, uh, the stuff in the bucket. So, Alright, got the tape measure and looking at it here. Uh, yeah. Three, in three inches for the thick part. <laughs> so that's going to be able to br break out really easy. So, got that much out, I would say probably got 
total I got a quarter of the way done once I go across there I got to go back along the side of the house here a little bit but coming along fairly quickly one thing I have noticed though is, is that uh, as I'm uh, jackhammering there the whole pad there starts to vibrating the gravel underneath here was not compacted it was just dumped out raked and poured over he didn't use any sort of a compactor at all, even if it's not one of those hand uh, stomper ones I've used in previous videos. And so, I mean, uh, I want to jackhammer loose some of the pieces, the whole, everything just kind of sinks into the ground. So, yeah, that's probably helped me that the fact that it's hollow underneath it, it doesn't have a strong support, so it's uh, breaking easier. So, well, time to get back at it. Okay, that's done. Now let's move around over here. Let's move up. Now we're gonna look at this piece over here. I'm gonna put it over here on the grass so that it uh, doesn't pick up the vibration of sitting on the concrete. So I tell you, that concrete there was just vibrating. I got a good foot massage. Okay, I'm done, literally, both ways. Taking the jackhammer back. I got enough of the stuff here out here. So this last big one, that's gonna be easy to snag with the excavator, pick it up, haul it off, maybe drop it, break it a couple times. Same thing with that one. When I get over here to, to this uh, next big one here, I can take some of those and just drop it and beat on it with the excavator, get it to crack and pull it on out and just pull everything else out as I go along with it. Whew. That's a workout. I'm trying to hold that thing up at the side, trying to break those pieces loose that were, were poured into the vent for under the house there. That's the vent under the house. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, what are you doing to better your situation preparedness wise? I'm doing a lot of stuff here. You're not going to know what it's for, but um, it's going to improve my preparedness uh, quite a bit here once this is all done. Alrighty, so stay happy no matter what life throws at you. Stay safe. Don't go out and do anything foolish. Keep adding to your preps water, food, medicines, and skills like construction or deconstruction. Why? Well, as I say over on Gray Man Prepping, this is why.